Yeah. Oh. I saw it. Oh. It was Bridges' fault. She put that uh, cable there. Hello? Hey, what's happening, Scott? What's going on, man? Not too much. What's happening these days, dude? I don't know, same old shit, man. Trying to get me a fight. Derek just texted me and told me to call you. Oh, I didn't know he was going to uh, send you a text message. He threw your name out there. Uh, uh, strange things going on around this place. Yeah? So said that uh, I called you. Yeah. What's that about? Yeah. to be the one to come forward, and that's the problems that we have. You know, all I would take is somebody to call, and, and I, I wouldn't even call the U.S., uh, no, I, I wouldn't even call the state attorney general's office, because the new boys all play golf with the chief, you know, they know Jim Crap, and no matter what, they're going to protect the chief and the mate, somebody's going to end up taking a ride for this, I heard D.A. put it in his retirement already, like, they see the writing on the wall. You know, that 
whole bullshit about these guys following some way with IA. They just go in at the CIA because now it shows they did a little investigation and they're gonna hang Waka and hang fucking Calvin Ford and they're gonna hang, they're gonna pin it on somebody, hang him up to try it. Oh, they misinterpreted our order that we wanted more activity from the officers into our quota. And they're gonna hang on them up to dry it. Those men don't deserve it. They're not fools screaming on that on the phone. You know, that's bullshit. If they want to do it the right way, I'm more than happy to fucking come forward, but the way they're doing it ain't the right way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, cool beans. Uh, I, I don't, uh, I ain't got nothing. I don't know what else to say. I, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, actually, Zarek, uh, you called me last night to give you a call. I was going to get to you. I got to try to get Zarek scheduled for a, a hearing, which is becoming difficult in itself. I feel bad for Zarek. You know, I want to thank him to help him out. I know he's having trouble feeding his family right now, and I know it's because there's no fault of his own. I don't, you know, I don't want to be made with some kind of fucking stripper for a rat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, that's all right, dude. Look, I, I ain't got no ill will for you. I just, uh, I just wanted, I was gonna call. I don't know why I told you to give me a call right now because I was working on his uh, appeal scheduling. And uh, man, look, that's entirely up to you. You, you make your own decisions. He had the ability to do all this uh, early on in the game, and he, uh, he's kind of waiting on somebody else to do it for him. So I, I don't know what else to say. Wait, what, what did you just say? I, I couldn't hear you. What? He's trying to get somebody else to take the fight for him, it sounds like. Uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Who's there? Yeah. Well, from what he told me, his attorney said he needs more people coming forward. And look, what I personally think. I personally think that his Glen Ormond toy is in too tight with this, the city. You well, know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get no argument here. Like... If I was Zerg's attorney, we would be screaming from the rooftops. I wouldn't want to tell D. Stanley about this. I don't want to tell the FBI about this. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yep. Like, it is, that's, that's some super shady shit going on. And it don't look like it's going to turn out well from the, just from the, just, I see the writing on the wall. The way it's being investigated, ain't shit going to come of this. And, you know, Bernie all kind of said that whenever he asked me to come in. I said, oh, no, no, look, Sergeant, I ain't trying to get, Nobody's in trouble over there. He said, oh, well, you know, nobody's going to get in trouble over there, man. I said, bullshit, nobody's going to get in trouble over there. I said, that's a violation of state law. It's their job, but possibly their pension. Well, what did he say? What do you tell him that? Well, he didn't know what he was going to say. He didn't say shit. He was trying to downplay him. But, I mean, he was trying to, he was, you know what else he was doing? He was trying to, her, you know, angle me into the answer that he wanted, you know what I'm saying, try to mold my answer into what he thought it should be, like when I was saying quotas, he was saying DDAC, because I said it was around the time they were starting to implement that DDAC, he said, oh, so it was DDAC? Like, no, it was two tickets and three and a half hours, it was specific. Yeah, what do you say when you told him that? Well, not much talking. Oh, man, this place is out of control. It's out of control, dude, and that's the thing, man. That's the thing. Ask any patrol officer who's in patrol. He'll tell you. Go we'll talk to Brad Bikes. He'll tell you. He had the, the Ricky Reek that look. The quarter thing started way before this. Because when first day I got an ATAC, Ricky Reek told us about the evaluation standard. It's to get to one DWI at night. You know? Brad will tell you that shit. But he, Brad kept the pin. He wrote pin on the sticky note and kept it on his dome light in his car every night. You know, we laugh about it. When they were in traffic. Up until a few months ago, which is why I all of a sudden be put in his retirement. Up until like last month, it was still pushing 10 tickets and so many reps. When Brad did what I did, he printed out the anti quarter law and pinned it up on the board. And all of a sudden, the fucking 10 tickets thing shut the fuck up, you know? I personally think it was coming from DA, if, if it wasn't coming from higher. But I personally think it was coming from DA, and that's why he's, he's right on the wall and he's retired. So, like I said, if they subpoena or whatever, I'll do what I gotta do, but other than that, you know, I wanna stay out of it. Because I kinda see the writing on the wall and fuck that. It ain't worth it. Cool deal. Cool deal. So, well, let me know if you need anything, man. Uh, you got my number. Dude, I'm, I'm kinda over the whole lap if you need anything, man. They, they give her, really giving me a bad taste. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sorry they're giving you a bad day, man. I didn't, I, don't, don't have a bad day on my account. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. None of that has to do with you, man. You always... Nothing but help them, but them cats over there, man. Shady, shady, you know? Well, look, do yourself a favor. If you're not going to contest or, or do anything with Danny Landry, go pick up your check and sign your paperwork. Go get your money. Well, I was kind of leaving that open, just waiting to see what the hell happens with the but... All right, well, it's open there for you. <clears throat> you know, if that's something you want or, or need, that is a little, little kick bonus, I guess. Uh, but it, if you, it, just seems, it just seems like it's so shady, dude. And look, like, even my attorney even told me in court that, that Danny Landry was the Absolutely right about that. For my attorney to tell me that, that kind of, you know, made me sit back in my chair and like, man, what the fuck? Well, it's there for you, buddy. Uh, don't let it go back to the city. That's, that's for damn sure. If you decide to cancel it, man, just go sign your paperwork and pick it up. Dude, I, I, I'm kind of wondering why this happened. <laughs> why, Derek? Why does the attorney have to notify the news or just you know nobody yet? Hey, well, who's his attorney? That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, that's, that's, I talk. just told him the same thing. He, he was bitching about how we're not having another civil service meeting until mid-March. Well, you got an attorney. <clears throat> I can tell you that... <clears throat> excuse me. I can tell you that board members aren't showing up. Uh, I, I can tell you that we're only required by law to show up once every quarter of the year. Which means we only uh, authorize, we're only allocated four meetings a year. You've got an attorney, and he's got decades of experience. Make him uh, start doing some work. Quit trying to be nice with these people. And instead, we. He's on their team. Yeah. He's on their team. He's sacrificing Zurich to gain favor with the city for some future need or some past favor. You know what I'm saying? Yep, you and I both know that, but uh, try to tell him that. I, I just. I don't know what to do. So I'm like, I told Derek he needs to file a complaint with like the FBI and somebody, and the U.S. attorney to call for somebody. Yeah, he should. But, but he's afraid to do it, and you know what? I mean, I, I can't be the one. I ain't got a dog in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I'm just saying, man. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell happened. Yeah. All right, man. That's all right with me. You know, I wish you all the best, man. And like I said, if, if it does around being handled in the correct manner. Give me a call, man. I'll definitely tell the whole truth. The truth, not the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we're definitely, no. we're definitely not holding our breath around here for anything. Well, I... Take it easy, guys. All right, dude. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, 